stick and we all sure Play with sticks like fairy odd perks Carry that man like a pauper Shooters with me and they all curse What's going on you guys? It's your boy Vic Munt and today I'm about to show you guys how to edit music videos faster. A couple, a couple different ways you can edit your music videos faster than, than normal. I know it takes hours and hours and hours to edit some music videos but I have a couple different ways that you can edit your music videos faster than normal. So if you've seen one of my last videos, one of my last videos basically you know, I gave you the rundown on how to edit music videos and how to put effects on music videos. Well, a small amount of effects, not a lot, but that video is coming, definitely. But anyways, back to this video. Um, right now I have, I say the first, the first thing you want to do is um, line up all your clips. That's, that's the first thing I do when I edit music videos is line up my clips. All right, fast. Let me get this one in there. All right, perfect. Um, so that's that's this is number this is key number one. This is key number one to editing videos fast. Um, lining it up, you know, some video, some directors, they um they put one clip down and then just watch the whole clip and then pick spots. I seen a couple directors edit like that. I don't edit like that. I line everything up and then chop my way down. So I found that that is the fastest way to edit a music video. In my case, only reason I say that is because I know my clips, so I know what looks good and I know what the next scene looks like. Second thing is basically chopping down the way you chop down. Some people cut cut up everything and then try to piece it up. I basically cut, put, move over, cut, move over. Let me give you an example. So when I see that beat hit, pull back. Hit it again. Pull out. See, so when he say came too far, I probably slow it down right there, you know. Um, put it on. Put that on 50. Come me. Yeah. All right. So that's basically how I chop everything up. Look, I'm almost halfway done with the video already, and we just started. Easy. Let me bring it back for you. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Anyway, um, next is adding B-roll. So me, well, you basically already know what your B-roll look like because you shot the video. So you know how what order does your B-roll go in. That's what you you should be thinking. What order do my B-roll go in? So me, I put my B-roll to the side. So I'll put every all of my B-roll on the side, unlink it, unlink it, chop where I want it to be, slow it down. Slow. I slow every last one of my B-roll clips down. So you know, get him counting the money. Um. All right, so I got him with his shoes. Then I hit the shoes and got him counting the money. Bam. Again, got him counting the money. All my B-roll, that's two clips on the side waiting. But I'm not finished chopping my video up, but this is just two clips. These just little B-rolls on the side. Keep all your B-roll on the left side or the right, far the right side of the screen. Just until you get the and wait. Just wait. Just wait until you got the full video chopped up. That's it. Wait until the video chopped up, and then you'll be straight. That's when you start messing with all your B-roll and then figuring out how you want to put your B-roll in your video after you've done chopping everything up. That's second. Third thing you want to do is you know cut off all distractions. No cell phones. No, don't don't pop up the internet. None of that. All that is distractions. It, it slows you down. It slows me. It slows me down a whole lot. Like when I say the internet slows me down a lot, it slows me down a lot. Like I take breaks and be on the internet for hours and look up and be like, damn, 
I really been on the internet for hours and forget about my edits. So definitely take that for consideration. Don't use the internet, turn off all phones, all that. Me, normally I wake up 5 a.m. in the morning and edit all the way until about three. So waking up in the morning, I found that that, you know, keeps me very, very focused. Nobody ain't gonna call my phone. Nobody ain't gonna, you know, blow me down or nothing like that. So I'm, I'm good. Anyway, um, I'll say, I'll say last but not least is basically making your own presets. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own presets. So for example, say I wanna make it's just still open cause niggas shot up the car. I can't let no nigga in me cause I came too far. Them bitches lock me in the case thinking I got Alright. So say for instance I'm gonna make a preset right now for you guys. So <laughs> I'm gonna scale in, uh, scale out, down, go farther out, make that, scale in, scale out. Perfect. You see that? All right, say I want to do that same exact thing on another side of the clip, but I, I don't want to put all the work in I just put in to do that exact same effect. Let me find another spot with the same type of beat. Right here. Bam. Chop. Chop. All right, so say, for example, I don't want to do the exact same thing I just did. I just want to do it with a preset. So I'll go up to motion, right click on motion, save preset. So I'll just name this, um, I'll just name it Vic Mutt, I guess. Vic Mutt Jump. <laughs> name it Vic Mutt Jump. I'm tripping. Okay. So once you say the preset, it'll be in effects right here. Vic Mutt Jumps. So look. Perfect. See that? Perfect. Perfect. Just perfect for you. Okay, now, so look. That's that's not the only thing you can do. You can do it scaling in, scaling out. So let me try. Let me do another one for you guys. Um, I'm going to scale in on this one. Um, all right. Then pull it all the way up. We are gonna stop right here. So I'ma zoom in. Well, make sure you do position too. Make sure position is checked in also because you're gonna have to zoom up a little bit and frame him in, right? Perfect, right there. Zoom in. Make sure that's perfect. All right, perfect. Then scale out at the end. All right. So you wanna you wanna ease out, ease in. Let's look at it. Perfect. You see that? Also, um, let me see. Let me do it. Let me save this. You do the same exact thing. Motion. Make this zoom in. Save. Bam. It should be right there. Zoom in at the bottom. Now, look. This is another thing. This is another thing I had to figure out. Is that everything has to be the exact same frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 20, 21, 22. That's 22. So it, this will have to be 22. But I, me, I guess the spots. I'll just guess right here. It look almost e exactly the same. So I put zoom in. So that's perfect. Um, 
Let me make a flash for you guys. Um, let me go to levels. Levels. All right, I'm gonna make one right here for levels. So on levels, you wanna go to white. Yeah, here we go right here. So on levels, you wanna go to white input level and let me put it back at zero because I don't wanna use it on here. I'm gonna use it on this. So let's put levels on this clip and make sure you click on the clock. I'm gonna start right at the beginning of the clip. I want it to I want it to light up right around here. So I'll pull back. Matter of fact, I want it to light at the end of the clip. Oh shoot. Let's see. Right, we're gonna do it like this. I don't know why my computer is. See that little simple flash? It's just a little simple. I can't let no nigga I can't let no I can't let no I can't let no Little simple, cool little flash, not too much, you know. I can I can make it more powerful if I wanted to. I could just Pull down some more, make it super white, not too much white, but you know. All right, fast. I can't let no nigga I can't let no That look more. I can't let no Perfect. That look perfect to me. I would hope so. Make that up. Preset. Call it um flash. Hmm, just call it flash, I guess. And just call it flash. Bam. Save that. Now look, I'm gonna make one more for you guys, one more, and that's with this. So this is this will basically be a double flash because the beat hit two times, boom, boom. So I can just look at the top and follow that basically. I can look at the top and follow the top. So I'll just pull this down so I can see it real, real good. So I'll just make sure I hit the clock. It won't even go in the middle. But I'll make it go in the middle. Make this about a hundred. And then back. Back. Put that over here. Pull back. Make that a hundred. Hmm. Dang, I can't even keep it right. Trip. Back, make it in the middle. Let's see. Hold on. See that? Perfect. Perfect. You fit. You feel me? You feel me? I'm trying to tell you, man. Get y'all together. So, those are some some quick, you know, quick ways to edit to add your effects in there super super fast, you know. Quick, quickest way to edit. That's the quickest way to edit. Quickest way. So, you know, that's the end of my video, you know. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments because I will be making more videos just like this, you know. Helping you guys get better with your editing. You know, I'm helping myself at the same time because I'm learning at the same time also. You feel me? I, I haven't been on Premiere that long, so I'm learning just as much as you guys are learning, so I'm just helping you guys out. So that's, that's a couple tips on how to edit faster. See you in the next video.